the land is part of us. So the healing camp here is so important because I see it as a way where we can connect to the land. The wind is cleaning, clearing. The land is grounding. You can just feel nature healing us in every way. My name is Jean Erasmus, and I am Dene and Cree from Fort Chipewyan, Alberta. And I am the daughter of Alice Toronto and Roderick Simpson, and the granddaughter of William and Mary Martin and Isidore and Corinne Simpson. Before going to residential school, my mother brought us on the land, picking berries and going on the lake. I actually got pregnant when I was in grade 11 and moved to northeastern Alberta. And I had my baby and got married. I was very focused, always wanting to do things in my life that challenged me. So I started Mix of Family Services to bring families back together. My name is Roy Erasmus. I was born right down here in Delo. I belong to the Yellowknife Dene First Nation. We met in 2010 when I went to Akecho Treaty 8 Annual General Assembly. And then I moved here. I couldn't bring my company. So I kind of coasted for a year and Roy said, what, what would you like to do? I said, maybe something in counseling. I know I've always had this connection with people, and I'm a really good listener, and went to Rhodes Wellness College in Vancouver, did the training there for six semesters. I could see how she was changing. She was talking about all the things she was learning and how she was growing and all this, so then I really wanted to go too. It was wonderful learning with him and learning about myself and really healing, you know, being a residential school survivor that was something that I really needed to heal. And I didn't realize, I thought I was pretty healthy. When we came back, um, we did our practicum and I wanted to work with our people here in the North and work towards making a difference with them. In March of 2019, Indigenous Services invited me to be a service provider for um, all the resolution health support workers in the three territories. When she found out she was the only Indigenous counsellor, right away she wanted to do something. I said, our people need to be doing this. Let's see if Rhodes is able to bring their program up here. My proudest moment was opening our private practice for Dene Wellness Warriors, as well as graduating 15 Indigenous counsellors in the NWT. My name's Leanne Joss. I come from Olakokdok. I work at the Arctic Indigenous Wellness Foundation as the Inuit counselor here in the Inuit tent. What I love about here is that you're taking this walk down, seeing all the trees, the gravel. It's like a camp out on the land and that, that anxiety comes down. And they always say, I love it here. There's no pressure. She's so calm like she's just so in tune with this environment so i'm really proud of how she's able to use what she's learned in school here on the land living with jean she's really really taught me how to be more compassionate and feel more she inspires me to do more <laughs> she pushes me if i could tell indigenous youth one thing it would be to not be afraid to take risks and do something that you really love. <laughs>